This is problem number one from section 1.3. And this problem it says, on a circle of radius 10 inches, how long is an arc that subtends a central angle of 2 pi over 7 radians, that's part A, and then part B, 30 degrees? So, first of all, we need to define what the arc length formula is. So the arc length formula is s equals r theta. Now, in this case, with s equals r theta, we need theta to be in radians. So theta in radians. So s equals r theta, r stands for the, the radius, theta stands for the, uh, the degrees, or the, in our case, the radians, the angle, and s is the arc length. So it says the length of the arc is blank inches. Well, they give us a radius of 10 inches, and then they give us a, an angle in part A for 2 pi over 7. So here's what we do. We take S equals R theta, and we plug in what we know. So we know that the radius is 10 inches. We know that theta is 2 pi over 7. So we can plug both of those in to the formula and we can say S equals 10 times 2 pi over 7, which when you multiply those together, they're going to want you to leave it in pi. It says uh, using pi as needed, so type an exact answer. So in this case, we get 20 pi over 7 for the arc length. So then for part, so this is part 20 pi over 7. That's our arc length, so obviously 20 times 3 divided by 7 will give you the actual uh, arc length in inches. Uh, but part B, now they're going to t have us take and use 30 degrees. Well, because 30 degrees is not in radians, and we need radians for S equals R theta, we're going to first take 30 degrees, and we're going to multiply it by the... Uh, we're going to multiply by a ratio between the degrees and radians. And we know that there are 180 degrees for pi radians. So if we want to convert this to radians, we're going to multiply this by uh, pi over 180 degrees because this is the ratio between radians and degrees. When you multiply those, you end up with uh, 30 over 180 will reduce to basically uh, 1 over 6. So we can have this be now, this is pi over 6. And if you look on the unit circle, you would see that 30 degrees is pi over 6 on the unit circle. So now we can use pi over 6 and say S equals R theta, where R is the 10 inches, and theta is pi over 6. We'll plug in the two things we know, so we end up with S equals 10 times pi over 6, which gives you, if we, re, if we write as 10 pi over 6, 10 pi over 6, that can reduce to, we'll divide them both by 2, you get 5 pi over 3 for the arc length with an angle of 30. So if you remember arc length, um, if you didn't remember what arc length was, arc length is just looking at this length right here. So in the first part we have 20 pi over 7, uh, the second part we have 5 pi over 3 for our arc length.